Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video, we're going to be finding the cosine of i. So i is imaginary, it's also known as the square root of negative one. If you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos where I go over the basics of complex numbers. And if you like number theory, algebra and trigonometry problems, go ahead and check out cyber math, cyber with an S. Maybe that's where you came from if you did, let us know in the comment section. So we are supposed to find the cosine of an imaginary number. How complicated can this get, right? In a previous problem, we did sine of i, which actually was suggested by one of my viewers as a sinister problem. You get the joke? Sine i, sinister problem. But you can't say cosister problem. It's probably not gonna make sense, right? But anyways, here we are for trying to find cosine of i. All right, let's get to it. Now, to find cosine of i, I need to do a couple things because it's not like a special angle where, you know, let's say cosine pi over four, you know that, right? It's one over root two. Or cosine of 30 degrees, that will be root three over two, right? You probably memorize that. Or cosine of zero, it's one. But cosine of i doesn't make sense at all, does it? Not really. I mean, if they asked us like something like maybe cosine of one plus i, we could expand it using the sum formula, but again, we would be stuck because this time we would have to find cosine of i and sine of i. So this approach doesn't really help. We do need something else. If you knew cosine one plus i, this might have helped, then you could do something like one plus i minus i, and you could use the difference formula. But again, that's a lot of work. Who would memorize cosine one plus i when you don't even know cosine of i? There's a better way to do it, and it's actually using Euler's formulas because Euler is awesome and is the best. No question about it, right? Hopefully you agree. If not, let us know. Now, what did Euler say? Oh, he said a lot of things and the most beautiful equation comes from one of the identities that he came up with. And I think it's mind blowing. I don't think anyone else could come up with something that mind blowing, in my opinion. I could be wrong, I could be biased. Do whatever, uh, I mean, say whatever you want. So anyways, so here's how Euler's most beautiful equation looks like. e to the power i theta equals cosine of theta plus i sine of theta. You might be asking like, why is this very beautiful? Well, you really have to think about it and kind of do a little bit of research maybe. And look at the applications. First of all, we have an exponential, we have an imaginary number, we have a trigonometric functions, and we have the imaginary again, and we're putting these together. So it connects so many different things, puts it into one equation. And imagine what happens. If you replace theta with pi, you're gonna get something super duper crazy, okay? Anyways, that's not what we're gonna talk about because we're gonna talk about something else. And that is cosine of i. And you might be questioning like, what does that have to do with e to the power something? Well, take a look at this equation. We have cosine theta. So there's a way to associate cosine with the exponential, which might help us, right? How does it help us? Let's go ahead and find out. So here's how we can use it. We know that cosine theta plus i sine theta is e to the i theta, or is equal to. I wrote it this way, particularly, even though equation can be written either way, because I want to replace theta with something else. You know what it is? It is negative theta the opposite of theta. Why am I doing that? You'll see in a little bit why. When I do this, something miraculous happens, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna end up uh, memorizing this as a formula because you don't wanna do this every time, do you? I mean, if you enjoy doing it, absolutely, I don't mind, and I like doing it, but when you do this, something interesting happens. Trigonometry, cosine is an even function, which means that we have the x-axis symmetry. These two angles, have the same cosine. You get, you get that? And sine is odd, which means we have the y-axis symmetry. These two angles are, uh, what is it called? What's the word? Supplementary? And they have the same sign, okay? Like sine, like S-I-N-E, not S-I-G-N. Okay, that's a different sign. Anyways, which means cosine will absorb the negative, but sine will have to spit it out can't absorb it, can't digest it, too much for sine. 
So it has to look like this. But this is a good thing. Imagine it would be the same thing, then it wouldn't make sense. Also, that would be wrong because you know what? That would imply that e to the th i theta equals e to the negative i theta, which is definitely false. You know that, right? Hopefully. Now, from here we get the following. Since we're looking for cosine of something, which is very imaginary, right? I mean, super complex. Uh, we want to get rid of sine. That makes sense, right? Let's go ahead and add these two equations. That allows you to get rid of the i sine thing. And now you end up with cosine theta, but twice. Awesome. And then you add these two things. I'd like to write the one with the plus sign first. So like this, and then like that, which doesn't matter. I can add this first, right? And then, since I'm looking for cosine theta, I can divide both sides by 2. This is the identity that I was referring to. I'm pretty sure you'll memorize it because... It's a shortcut, okay? It's good to know. Just recommendation. I already knew it, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like for those of you who are new to complex numbers particularly. And sometimes people like, you know, say, um, criticize saying that, you know, why do you show the same things over and over your audience? We already know this. I can do this with my eyes closed 30 seconds. Come on. Not everything that I do here is for you guys, okay? You're, you may be experts. You may have a lot of experience. But this channel is for everyone, particularly for people who are new to complex numbers and who would like to learn more about complex numbers. Let me tell you, the best way to learn about complex numbers is like best way to learn about anything, ask questions. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. Try, make mistakes. It's okay. Okay. Now, this is cosine theta. And now we're going to replace this with tada, i. So we're going to replace theta with i. So that's when the miracles happen, right? Mathematic, mathematics. So if you replace cos, uh, theta with i, you get cosine of i. Let's use parentheses. I usually don't, but let's use it. So it doesn't look like cosi, right? <laughs> okay. So this will look like this. You will replace theta with i. So it's going to be e to the power i times i, which is i squared. And then this will become e to the power negative i squared divided by 2. I didn't want to write the answer right away because then I would be skipping some steps. But remember what I told you. i is the square root of negative 1, which also means i squared is negative 1. Beautiful. Now we can replace i squared with negative 1. And that will be i to the power negative 1. But negative i squared is going to be a positive 1, something that you should always remember. And divide by 2. And guess what? This is equal to cosine of i. Well, let's simplify this a little bit, shall we? Yes, e to the power negative i just means that 1 over e, so we can write it as 1 over e plus e, divided by 2, and then when you make a common denominator, just multiply the top and the bottom by e, you'll get e squared plus 1 divided by 2e. So that should be the answer, right? Yes, and guess what? Cosine of i is real. Can you believe that? It's very, very real. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. Don't forget to check out CyberMath and A plus BI. And bye-bye.